Well, hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. And a very, very Calimera to all the people who tuned in to the little channel known as Marika and me. If you're curious to know where we are, we're on the extremities of Paya and it's a little area known as Sea Caves. It's 9.30 in the morning and we're going to head in the direction of Coral Bay and slowly but surely work our way towards Paphos. So if you're looking for the route from Sea Caves, Paya, Coral Bay to Paphos, this could be that special video that's been waiting especially for you. So here we are, this is the main coast road that we are joining and we're just going to keep on going straight. Very, very easy routes indeed. So of course, if you are staying in Paya and you fancy visiting downtown Keda Paphos, the promenade, the harbour area, Bar Street, all you do, get in a car and just keep on going straight. I'd like to say a big, big shout out to one or two of the guys that like to watch now and again. Perhaps if your name's Lady Ali, Lord of the Neil in downtown Norfolk. A very, very Cali Mary to you. And hopefully your weather's not treating you too badly because we're getting a bit of a bluster or two in downtown Cyprus. Although it is uh, slowly calming down a little bit and the blueness is coming back. The sky is blue. We're gonna get a glimpse of that sea. And of course that's blue, Mr. Paul. You've guessed it by now, he's dressed head to toe in blue. So that must mean one thing, all that is missing is you. So come on, get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy because Paphos, Cyprus, Marika and me, oh yeah, we're waiting especially for you. So we're on the outskirts of Coral Bay. To the left is Paya and Paya Village. To the right is basically Coral Bay. And of course, Coral Bay is a very popular place in the season, shall we say. Because the season in Coral Bay runs probably from around about March until around about the end of October-ish, shall we say. Then it slowly but surely starts to close down. But if you are still looking for a bit of action, on a holiday in November, December, January, and February. Don't forget, downtown Cato Paphos, the promenade and the harbour area, 99.9% .9 of it is still open. One or two hotels are closed, but the majority are open, and you'll be surprised how many people actually come out in November, December, January, and February, because the weather, to be honest, is well, quite spectacular. The temperature today, let's have a quick look. What does it say on the car? At the moment, 9.30 in the morning, it says 14 degrees. That's a little bit chilly for us locals. I may have to switch the air conditioning off in a minute and uh, perhaps pop on a jacket. But of course, if you're somewhere in the Northern Hemisphere, unfortunately, it's a little bit cooler, isn't it? And there's a little bit of flooding and a little bit of snowing going on. Perhaps if you're in downtown Denmark and uh, you're a Viking, and of course your name must be Ronnie. He sent me some pictures. It looks beautiful, Ronnie, it really, really does, but I bet it's a little bit chilly. Get yourself into one of those bakeries and get yourself a, uh, a strepsil or something. Whatever, what are they called? Strudel, a strudel. Go and get yourself a strudel with a bit of apple in it or something like that. Take away those blues and then work your way down to middle fart. Perhaps if you're in downtown Krakow in Poland, Anna, my super stuff, yeah. Perhaps it's getting a little bit chilly, but don't worry, she's pretty safe. She's got her Lexus, and of course that's got four-wheel drive, so she'll be okay. Dr. Tomas, again, he's got a Lexus with four-wheel drive, so he's going to be okay. And of course their son and our great friend, Sir Bart, he's going to be okay because he is in his four-wheel drive Audi Quattro and probably spinning the wheels or two or four in his case, obviously. Philippos Supermarket. If you're in and around Paya, probably the best supermarket in Paphos. But I say, if you're in Paya, you don't need to leave Paya, to be honest. Paya's got everything going for it. Paya, Coral Bay, Sea Caves, Argus St. George, or more commonly referred to as St. George. You can live here for the rest of your life. And of course, many, many expats do. It's the most popular place in Cyprus for retirement homes. And this is where a lot of people like to come and spend the rest of their lives. Drop in the comments, if you were coming to Paphos, where would you be laying your anchor, shall we say? Where would you like to reside for the rest of your days? 
Could be downtown Cape of Paphos, you never know. Drop in the comments. So that was the entrance to Coral Bay on the right-hand side, and then the slip road up to Paya on the left-hand side. And we're gonna continue along the coastal road, and slowly but surely, we're gonna to come to Kosonaga, then we're gonna to come to Plorica, and then we're gonna to come to the outskirts of Paphos. So if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, by the way, drop it into the comments and you never know, that little video may be coming very, very soon, especially for you. And like I keep saying, if you do like what you see, please consider to hit the like, the thumbs up button, doesn't cost you a single penny. Why not hit that subscribe button? Why not hit the bell of notifications so you will know when one of our new videos comes up? And of course, if you'd like to keep the channel afloat, why not go and hunt us down on the Buy Me A Coffee platform? Why not Google these magic words? Buy Me A Coffee, Marika and Me, up will come our landing page. You'll have the opportunity to read a little bit more about us, and of course, a comments or two, and fingers crossed, you'll gift us a virtual coffee or two, or perhaps even join us as a superstar member. Like our girl in downtown Glasgow, Lady Kirstein, at this Moment in time, Lady Kirstein, our hearts are with you, and we know that the man known as Sir Scott will be coming back on a big bird to downtown Kedah Paphos in the spring, and of course, holding your hand as you to chuchka dance down the downtown Kato Paphos promenade. I'd like to say a big, big shout out to a little man who's known as Fantastic, and of course, that's Alexander the Fantastic. Keep your chins up, guys. It'll all work out in the end. And look at that for a view. Not bad. Quite a lot of blueness going on. Beautiful Mediterranean Sea, which is always, always blue. A bit chilly this time of year, but I've no doubt there are one or two nutters who may be jumping into it and twiddling their tootsies. And perhaps the brave ones may go mm, all in, shall we say. You'll be surprised how many people do go swimming in the sea every single day. I've got many customers who come down to the water's edge, get their shekels up, I suppose, and then jump in for four or five minutes. And rumor has it, it keeps you looking young, so perhaps I should try it as well. Downtown Kisonica, CU Beach Bar, coming up on the right-hand side. Perhaps a big shout out to Sir Daniel and his girl, who's always, always right, Lady Sherry, hopefully you're keeping well and hopefully the weather is not disturbing you too much. And a big, big shout out to, let me think, mm. Lady Caroline. Well, actually she's a Baroness. Oh, oh, so, so sweet Caroline. And of course, Baron Nigel of the Big Guns. Hopefully in downtown Welling, brother, the snow is not too deep and hopefully everything's going well as you start your preparations for Christmas, because Christmas is just around the corner, isn't it? Yeah, literally. And of course, after Christmas, we're into the new year, and then of course, we're into the springtime. And there's a big event coming to Paphos in the springtime, 15th of March, 2025, the grand opening of the Marika and Me Lounge Bar. Quite a few people are coming. Perhaps you might want to join us for a tot or two. I've got a feeling our Sir Chris from Bridlington, he might be coming because he gifted us a bottle of whiskey, a special bottle, and I told him, if he comes, he gets the first tot for free. So big, big shout out to Sir Chris in Bridlington. Hopefully the weather is not treating you too badly. Downtown Kisonica, what have we got coming up on the right? This is the Atlanta Bay Mari Paphos Resort, Mari Village Paphos Resort, to give it its correct title. Looks like a really, really nice place. And we popped in once or twice, but unfortunately they threw us out, as they like to do in some of these hotels. So if you've stayed there, drop in the comments, let us know. Is it a good hotel? Is the customer service good? And if you're looking for somewhere to stay on your holidays, perhaps you've not been to Paphos before, or perhaps you have, and you're thinking about venturing somewhere new, pop the name of that hotel, the name of that resort, and the magic words Marika and me in the YouTube search bar. And you never know, you might find myself and Marika chachuchka dancing through the reception, especially for you. So this is Kosonaga. 
if you are staying in this area, there's quite a few shops around, quite a few restaurants, hire car companies, those kind of things. It's on the main bus route to Paphos and of course to Coral Bay. So you're not going to be isolated, but uh, it's a place probably where you come to have a tranquil holiday and spend a lot of time on a sun lounger, perhaps out the rear end of one of the hotels as you look out into that blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Big shout out to Lady Zena, our Sir Kev, and of course Prince Lorenzo. I'm pretty sure he's grown up quite rapidly. Hopefully he's still been a good boy. Otherwise, well, we'll have to chuck him in the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea when he comes out to Paphos next year because our Lady Zena and of course our Sir Kev are gonna get married. And hopefully we're gonna make a little video or two. So we're looking forward to that September. Not that far away, Lady Zena is getting very excited and planning it, and I'm sure our Sir Kev is frantically earning the money to pay for it. But it will be a spectacular wedding when they come to Paphos next year. Big shout out to Baron Von Cigar, Lord Martin, and of course his girl, greatest, 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 greatest accountant in the world, Lady Victoria. Hopefully they're gonna join us for the grand opening on the 15th of March of the Marika Remy Lounge Bar. And there may be a, one or two little electric problems that he may have to sort out or some special wiring. And I'm pretty sure that Lady Victoria can sit there and sup on a sex on the beach or something like that. So like I say, downtown Kasonaga, quite a big area, downtown Kasonaga, lots of hotels. And perhaps if you fancy a poppadom, you could pop into the Indian Tandoori restaurant. It has good reviews. Some reviews are not so good, but uh, Food is one of those strange things, isn't it? Many people can go somewhere and enjoy it, and one or two people go there and don't enjoy it. And unfortunately, the ones that don't enjoy it then tend to write the review. So at the moment, I think it's had one or two bad reviews. But uh, I know many people who go there every single weekend. So that tells you that it must be quite a good Indian restaurant, Papadon's restaurant on the coastal road in downtown Kasonaga. Leonardo Lara Beach and Splash Resort, quite a popular hotel. That's coming up on the right hand side. And then just further on now, we're coming to the St. George Crossroads. If you take a left, you'd go up into Kasonaga and Clorica Village. And if you go right, you go straight into the St. George Hotel, which is a popular hotel in downtown Paphos, especially if you're like a surf boy. And if your name is our Sir Jim, the surf boy kid, and of course his girl, his very own beauty, Lady Paula Marie. They like to pop in there once or twice a year and they like to sup on a pint or two, bite to eat and of course sit on a sun lounger. But they do like to come to downtown Cato Paphos and uh, sit around in the harbour, perhaps go to Bar Street and hopefully they'll come and join us at the Marika and Me Lounge Bar in the spring of next year. But it's a fabulous day by the way. Uh, lots of us locals are complaining it's a little bit cold, you know, 14, 15 degrees and it's a little bit breezy. But overall, you can't complain about the weather, can you? You really, really can't. Over the next few days, they're forecasting snow up in the Trudos Mountains. So if you're up there, perhaps if, you, if it's Aden, well, yeah, I'd wrap up a little bit warmer. But uh, for your mum and dad, well, they're in downtown Cato Paphos, so Big shout out to Baroness Louise and of course Baron John. They'll be doing well and probably karaokeing or two at Lofty's Bar and perhaps supping on a pint or two at the Green Corner, perhaps with Arika and me. Big shout out to you guys and uh, we we'll look forward to seeing you again very, very soon indeed. And a big shout out to some people who are in Papos at the moment. You could age Lady Heather and of course Lord of the Steve. Yeah. We had a great evening with them the other night, and we're going to go and join them again tonight in downtown Coral Bay. Chew the fat. Let's get this little boy cigar lit up as we check out the price of benzene. 144.3 per litre for the green stuff. So that's the normal liquid petrol. And that's what Mr. Paul's driving around in the moment on these hybrid semi-electric it's called an Aqua, very similar to a Toyota Yaris. And you know what? I do think it could be 
the best car in the world. This thing is doing something like 65 miles to the gallon. It's supping on about three and a half liters of fuel every 100 kilometers. So that's pretty good in today's terms, isn't it? Drop in the comments, what do you think a respectable MPG on a car should be? King Eliathan Hotel coming up on the right hand side and that one again is getting a lot of bad reviews by the way but I've been in there twice over the last week and some friends of mine have stayed there and some customers are staying there literally as we speak and they say what a fabulous hotel it's a five-star luxury hotel that sits on the cusp of the blue 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 Mediterranean Sea and it's pretty close to Paphos because Paphos is coming up in the next 30 seconds and probably from here you're around about half an hour's walk to the harbour and promenade but again literally across the road is a bus stop obviously taxi service or like most people who stay that little bit further out of Paphos they always hire a car so that's not so much of a problem there it is on the sign downtown Paphos and it's waiting especially for you I'm going to say thanks for watching if you like what you see hit the like smash that subscribe please don't forget to keep on coming back for that little bit more of my madness and of course if you'd like to help to fund the channel buy me a coffee platform is there waiting for you and also if you'd like to help to support and fund the latest venture which of course is the Murakami Lounge Bar want to go and hunt us down on PayPal that's where you can buy a brick and have your name on the wall of fame on the Hollywood staircase all it costs you is 50 pounds go and hunt down on PayPal Paul G Cyprus so that's P A U L as in Paul G G E E as in G and of course that magic word Cyprus Paul G Cyprus on PayPal and up will come mine and Marika's smiling little face as we say a big big thank you to you if your name's Sir Adrian thank you very very much if your name is Sir Robert thank you very very much if your name is Sir Daniel thank you very very much if your name is Lord Ritchie and Lady Zena thank you very very much indeed thanks for watching